again bring in a fast I don't have anything planned or prepped or you know anything for um, Thursday and with us going out to dinner and Maddie having dance probably not gonna have any time to prep anything so might be a good idea for me to fast Thursday and Friday and then you know get back to my program really happy to see the ones you know 160.4 it's just a little frustrating that I couldn't get a little bit more off but 2.6 is great so that's where I am mood is good look very tired <laughs> um, looking forward to hot yoga I always you know I do this is the tough class my legs still hurt from my run although my legs hurt prior to my run so I think it's it was hot yoga Saturday that hurt my legs and then Sunday running on sore legs hopefully because if I'm that sore from running a 5k I'm gonna be in trouble <laughs> uh, so I would like to get another 5k in here this week maybe I can do that tomorrow to kind of help balance out the um, dinner I, I don't know I'll have to see we got uh, dental appointments in the morning I'm getting my my temporary crown off and um, my crown, my permanent one placed tomorrow. The kids have orthodontist appointments. And then Thursday I've got a Botox check to see what she thinks about how it is, how it took. I finally, like, things don't feel weird anymore. So it took about two weeks. I gotta remember that if I, I have a, some before, before pictures. I'm gonna take a picture and see if I see a big difference or not um it definitely was an uncomfortable two weeks so which i guess it depends on how long it lasts to see if it's perfect um yeah that's what today's gonna be um maybe i would like to start taking pictures of what i eat um all day like on an eating day, so I can put those up, not just dinner, but sometimes I don't remember. Um, okay, I'll check in. I definitely, will, if anything happens, I'll check in. But if, um, I will definitely let you guys know what the mantra was. I just said, hey, you bitches, but you guys weren't there. <laughs> oh my geez, I'm leaving yoga. Dying. <laughs> and the sun is right in my face and I'm too short that my thingy doesn't block my face. Um, what was the mantra? The mantra was that we all know somebody who has that what if response to everything and spiraling out of control and it's always in a negative what if this happens and what if this happens and what if this happens and I and I to be honest I have been kind of spiraling a little bit about this junkyard purchase I know it was something always it was always in the plans to do this this guy just popped out from behind a car you, you looking to get hit buddy um I've been saying like what if you know what if we can't pay our bills and what if we you know lose everything and what if this and I'm never like what if we're super successful what if this brings my kids you know a great life what if you know we don't we're not going to be financially strapped what if we can retire early like never the good what ifs it's always the bad ones I'm not a like I don't think the worst of everything Derek is more the naysayer um, but I have been really, I think it, it, it's a part of your fear when you are like that, you know? Um, I know Caroline and I talked about this with, um, being from a cycle of abuse. Sometimes even when things are going right, you tend to, you tend to like hold your breath. You're like holding your breath through life, waiting for that other shoe to drop, you know? And sometimes, like, well, what if it is good? Um, that's not really the mindset that you're in. You're like, when is it going to be bad, even if it is going good? So, 
I want to tell you guys. So there's a tattoo place right here. I'm going to show you that I'm going to go to. See this one on the corner that says tattoo electric something, electric tiger. You see it? That's where I'm going to go and get my tattoo. That guy thought I was taping him. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there now. I thought about stopping and like setting up a um, an appointment, but I know they would fucking talk me into staying there and I'm disgusting. I'm all sweaty and hot and I wanna go home and eat. I'm really thirsty right now. I'm catching all the red lights. Yeah, I wanted to go over there and um, make an appointment for either Friday or Saturday. Saturday would be best, but I'm sure they're gonna be busy. you guys what kind of tattoo I want um I'm gonna get the molecular formula for a runner's high it's an endorphin it's um it's a pretty long chain so I'm gonna wrap it around about about three inches above my um ankle so like if I was wearing cropped leggings you would see it like right at the seat like right at the bottom of the legging I'm gonna have it wrapped around and I'm going to get it, and there's going to be probably like this much of a gap between the two ends. I'm not going to have them link because it's a chain. It's not, it's not, it's not circular. Um, and I thought about getting a little Spartan helmet in between the two ends, but I'm not sure yet. I thought about a triangle as well, and I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Because then I'll always add that later. But I thought that might like, be cool. And I thought scientist runner, <laughs> pretty awesome. I have another one on my foot that says Soul Sister. Me and Jamie got them where S O L E, like the sole of your foot. Mine is a little wonky, and I've thought about having somebody fix it. I need it raised, and I think that a talented artist could do that. Just have like the top half become the bottom if that makes sense anyways i'm going home to eat the keto uh jalapeno popper i didn't have the greatest poop today and my energy honestly has been pretty low i just have a lot on my plate maddie's um you know consultation they had us waiting over an hour and we had to go to dance and so things were a little chaotic i got to work late had to leave early um my coworker got back from vacation but hasn't done any work, so I get frustrated at work um, when people don't do their jobs. I really do. I get really frustrated because um, I always get my shit done, and then to have to do somebody else's work is frustrating. Like all last week, I had to because she was on vacation, and then to continue to do it today pissed me off. And do you ever notice the more work you do? the more it's expected of you and you're like my boss has me and only wants me to do certain things because I'm good at them well fuck doesn't make you want to be good at something since then only you can do it um anyway so I was a little frustrated at work I didn't have anything go wrong at least that was good um and I have some girl scout stuff I'm doing and working on um outside of um, my meeting yesterday. So I had a meeting yesterday for Girl Scouts that I had to travel to, you know, yoga, Maddie's dance. Today we have, um, they have orthodontist appointments in the morning and I have my uh, permanent crowns going on. Um, after that, then I have to work and then Maddie has dance. Um, and tomorrow night, Linda's little like birthday party. And then Thursday, dance and yoga, and uh, I have my Botox check. I just, I mean, every day I'm just jamming. And then I feel like um, some people are, like, make me feel guilty that I don't, um, you know, I don't, I don't, it's probably me. Like, I feel guilty about reading the book and not getting to it. You know, I feel guilt, I just feel guilty not answering texts and, I gotta establish these boundaries this is the whole damn reason I'm reading this book. <laughs> and I just, I don't know. I don't feel like people give me grace when they should. 
And it's probably because it's all in my head and I'm not giving myself grace. I don't know. But I'm not going to let any of this deter me from doing my weight loss and my physical fitness. Because that is just stupid, I think. Because it's the one thing that's going to make you feel better doing the weight loss and the physical stuff. You know, you're going to feel better from that. So don't, don't, that's the one thing you shouldn't quit. I don't know, guys. I'm tired. I know that. I'm tired and um, because Derek and I did not sleep well last night. He did get a little bit more sleep than I did, but he didn't sleep well either. So I hope I'm going to get a nice warm meal, hot shower, and it'll be night night. <laughs> and I'll check in in the morning and let's hope, let's hope, 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 hope I don't gain too much weight. None. I don't want to gain none. I want to. I want to be under 150. Or yeah, under 160. 